All right, guys, so a lot of you guys have been asking me about the actual math difference, let's say, why my exercises are better, explaining it in simple terms. Physics and math is not something that can be explained simply, but I'm gonna do my best by demonstrating. So let's just say, hypothetically, a 220 pound male is going to be squatting 225 pounds with a barbell. This man's intention is to work his quadriceps. Let's see how much load is placed on his quadriceps with this exercise. Now, if I'm 225 pounds and I'm squatting, three quarters of my body weight is above my legs or the muscles which are working. So that's 165 pounds, which needs to be added to 225 pounds. That's gonna give you 390 pounds. Now, when I do the squat one time, that 390 pounds is going to be multiplied by the length of my tibia or lower leg bone, which is a secondary lever. That's gonna be giving me 7,500 pounds of load-ish, depending on a couple little things. Now, that then further needs to be multiplied by the efficiency factor of that lever which is only a 33% efficiency factor because of the angle present in the squat or the actual angle, if this was my foot, that my lower leg goes to. The quadriceps function is to extend the lower leg. If the lower leg is not extending or moving through a range of motion, it's ineffective. In this particular case, the ineffectiveness is 33. Multiplying that times 7,500 is roughly 1,574 pounds total weight per quadricep on each leg. Now, real quick, what that looks like, look at the lower leg. Okay, I'll highlight that for you. I should also point out that is the first squat I've done in about 10 years, so yay. <laughs> now let's look at the math on just a leg extension real quick. So. Okay, now just to keep it simple for you guys to understand, the function of the quadricep is to be pulling the leg, lower leg bone all the way up to fully contracted inside the correct resistance curve. As you just saw with the squat, my lower leg bone barely moved at all. Not terribly efficient, only 33% efficient. When I do this guy, it's gonna be going through the correct resistance curve. 100% effective lever, the entire range of motion beginning with the most resistance concluding with lower amount of resistance, but still a good amount. There is no possibility of compressing your spine or damaging yourself in any way as you do with barbell back squats. You tremendously damage your spine, you impede your breathing, posture, many other things I've addressed in other videos, but with only 150 pounds on the leg extension, you are effectively, by the same math, loading each quadricep with around 1,500 pounds of load. You are individually targeting that muscle with maximum efficacy. You are training it unilaterally, preferably, or single leg. You don't need to use both legs when you're doing the leg extension. You can use one leg. You can use both, but both makes it bilateral, so you would rather be doing unilateral. More force generation, more ability to focus, more reps, more volume, better resistance curve, no damage being done to your body, maximally targeting the muscle. Now all you have to do is do the same thing for your hamstrings and your glutes, three exercises, and you will get all of the benefits, none of the detriments from doing squats. Your workout will be considerably faster and more effective, and guess what? No more unnecessary pain 
and future you is going to be thanking you because future you knows the damage their back, shoulders, neck, respiratory health would be in if you had kept doing barbell back squats. So thank you biomechanics for the win. Thank you biomechanics for opening my eyes to the beauties of physics and anatomy, drastically improving my training and helping my clients out as well. If you found this video helpful and if you understood the concepts, drop a comment. If you didn't understand the, the uh, concepts laid out in this video, I apologize. I'm just making a few points. I have many other videos, books, and articles elaborately explaining all of the concepts addressed in this video, and I would encourage you to check them out.